extraction of iron. The chief ore of iron is hematite. Hematite is chemically Fe2O3. Chemical composition of hematite is Fe2O3. Of course, it contains uh, FeO as some impurity apart from SiO2 impurity. Let us see how Fe is extracted from hematite. Step 1 is levigation. Levigation is nothing but water washing. You run a stream of water through powdered ore and the lighter particles of impurity are washed away, heavier particles of ore stay back and lighter particles of impurities are washed away. In this way, you lose most of the silica present in the ore. Then step 2. Step 2 is roasting followed by calcination. Here we need to do both roasting and calcination. Roasting is done with the purpose of transforming all the ferrous oxide into ferric oxide. Roasting is done with the intention of transforming all the ferrous oxide to ferric oxide and apart from this you lose moisture, you lose volatile impurities. So, when once you make sure that all the ferrous oxide is transformed into ferric oxide, cut the supply of air, continue heating for some more time so that all the volatile substances are lost. This time you call it as calcination. So, the most important uh, transformation we expect during roasting is transformation of ferrous oxide to ferric oxide. The advantage is you know ferrous oxide is more basic than ferric oxide. So, one of the impurity present in the ore is SiO2. So, there is every possibility of ferrous oxide reacting with SiO2 to give ferric, ferrous silicate. So, by transforming it into ferric, we are avoiding this losses of Fe as FeSiO3. Ferric oxide on the other hand will not form ferric silicate. Then third step, step 3, this is smelting. Smelting as you know is done in blast furnace. Here we mix the charge fed into the blast furnace is ore plus coke plus limestone. Limestone in 8 is to 4 is to 1 ratio. Here what happens is Fe2O3 reacts with carbon monoxide and you get Fe plus CO2. Other changes which take place in the blast furnace are CaCO3 decomposes to give calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide and then carbon dioxide will combine with carbon to give carbon monoxide. There is also a possibility of Fe2O3 getting reduced by coke itself to give Fe and CO and uh, another reaction which is possible is calcium oxide combines with gang SiO2 and you get calcium silicate which goes out as slag. So, you get two separate layers, one layer the bottom layer consists of molten iron and the top layer consists of slag calcium silicate. These, there are two separate outlets meant for these two substances and in this way we recover mo molten iron from the blast furnace. This molten iron consists of about 4 percent of uh, carbon when it is solidified it is called as pig iron. and. Uh, pig iron as you know as I told you it consists of 4 percent carbon. If you cut down the percentage of carbon by puddling process you get cast iron which consists of 3 percent carbon. If you further reduce the carbon percentage the pure form of iron is called as wrought iron, wrought iron. So, these are the various steps various reactions which are involved which take place in the blast furnace. Ferric oxide is reduced by carbon monoxide to Fe. There is also possibility of ferric oxide getting reduced by coke. 
to give uh, molten iron and carbon monoxide. So, there are two reducing agents basically in this uh, blast furnace coke itself acts as a reducing agent even carbon monoxide. The role of limestone is to decompose and give calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is more basic than ferric oxide. So, all the calcium oxide will combine with silica to give calcium silicate. In presence of calcium oxide, you do not uh, expect iron oxide to combine with SiO2 because calcium oxide is more basic than iron oxide.